Percent yield. What is the percent yield if the combustion of 10 grams propane, C3H8, produces only 18 grams of carbon dioxide? We must begin by writing a balanced chemical equation. For the combustion of propane, C3H8, we must add oxygen. Reminded that oxygen is a diatomic molecule, so therefore in its gas state, it must be O2. Whenever you combust a hydrocarbon using oxygen, your waste products or, re or products will be CO2, carbon dioxide, and water, H2O. We need to now balance the chemical equation. I'm going to begin by balancing the carbons by adding three in front of the CO2 so that we have equal amounts of carbon on both sides, three in the reactants on the left, three in the products on the right. I'm now going to balance the hydrogen. There are eight hydrogen on the left, therefore I need to put a four in front of the water, H2O, to get eight hydrogen. This gives us a grand total of six oxygen in the CO2 and four oxygen in the water, which means our reactants have 10 atoms of oxygen. Therefore, I need five in front of the O2 to balance the equation. The next thing we're going to do is identify our start and stop. Our start is what we have and our end is what we want. We are going to begin with the 10 grams of propane. That is our start. Since the actual yield is 18 grams of CO2, our endpoint needs to be the same and therefore we are going to search for grams of CO2. This will be our endpoint for our stoichiometry. Now that we have a balanced chemical equation and we've identified the start and end for this, e this problem, we can now begin the process of solving the equation. We must write out the roadmap and set up the conversion factors. Our typical roadmap is grams to moles to moles to grams. We begin with 10 grams of propane, C3H8. Our first conversion factor needs to provide us with propane in moles and get rid of grams of propane. We then need to identify the mass of propane using the periodic table. We have three atoms of carbon. The mass of carbon is 12. 3 times 12 is 36. We have eight atoms of hydrogen. The mass of hydrogen is 1. 8 times 1 is 8, which gives us a mass of 44 grams of C3H8 propane. This is the molar mass of this molecule, and it allows us to cancel grams of propane. Our next conversion factor is to change to moles. We must cancel moles of propane, therefore the C3H8 will be in the denominator. And we want to get to moles of carbon dioxide, therefore the moles of carbon dioxide will be in the numerator. We get the numeric values for this conversion factor from the balanced chemical equation. And in this case, we have three moles of carbon dioxide for every one mole of propane. Our last conversion factor is to get to grams of carbon dioxide. Therefore, we will cancel the moles of carbon dioxide by putting it in the denominator. We need to ca calculate the mass of carbon dioxide. Again, carbon is 12 from the periodic table. One atom times 12 becomes 12. Oxygen, we have two atoms. The mass of oxygen is 16. Two times 16 is 32, which gives us a mass of 44 grams of carbon dioxide. And this becomes the numerator of our conversion. We now can do the calculation 10 divided by 44 times 3 times 44, which gives us 30 grams of carbon dioxide as our theoretical yield. Now that we have found our theoretical yield, we are ready to calculate the percent yield. Actual yield was 18 grams of carbon dioxide from the original problem. We calculated theoretical yield using stoichiometry, 30 grams of carbon dioxide. Our equation for percent yield is actual divided by theoretical times 100 equals percent yield. Our equation becomes 18 grams divided by 30 grams times 100. 
which comes out to be a percent yield of 60%.